what the fuck? Oh my god, what the fuck? Oh, there we go. And we have a rope twist? No, we don't. Because, like, what? <laughs> what? We don't have to just leave that for later. <laughs> Okay, hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Okay, so a lot of y'all are here because of my live videos, and I just want to say I 100% appreciate y'all. Thank you for subscribing, thank you for liking, thank you for commenting. It has been much appreciated, and I'm excited to see like what my channel is going to become so we're going to get back to getting into the lock videos i'm not going to lie the reason why i really didn't make a lot of lock videos is because one i've been trying to pick my photography career literally up off the floor and then also i just haven't had time and i really wasn't like doing much with my locks my hair tension is like it's not the best so when i pull back on my hair I think for since I've had a short haircut for such a long time and then like I went into locks and I didn't really have to like pull on my scalp much I think that now like when I do try to pull on my scalp it hurts so I didn't well, I wasn't really interested in doing any updos and I wasn't really interested in like doing any styles that manipulated my locks made them thinner I just wanted to, them to like be who they were gonna be and mature into which I think my locks are matured um I have to do some research but i'm like a hundred percent sure that they're matured at this point so yeah so what we're gonna do today is we're going to do a retwist i have not retwisted my hair in about a month or so i'm gonna say like six weeks i know i'm dirty but actually i'm not dirty because my scalp really didn't start getting um dirty until about last week and i've been pressed to do my hair like just pressed to wash my hair but i wanted to make this video so i really held it out for y'all if we're being serious here if we're gonna you know be transparent um but yeah so today i'm gonna do my retwist i'm going to try the rope twist if the rope twists come out too short which i think they might which is why i've been kind of hesitant to do them but i kind of want to see what it looks like at the same time so the rope if they come out too short then i'm gonna just take them out immediately but i'm gonna let them dry first but normally people put the rope twist in and then they let their hair stay in the rope twist for like at least like three or four days and then they take it out and then they have like that curly beautiful bouncy look that i really want to try but again i think my hair is still a little bit short so i don't like when people do the rope twist like their hair is this length curly so for me i think it's gonna be like i don't know we'll see we will see but first don't worry about the age um but first i'm going to go wash my hair i'm not gonna bring you guys if you guys want to see how i wash my hair go take a look at my other videos it's nothing crazy i just wash my hair in the sink um and that's it but i'm using oh i'll tell you what products i'm using though so i'm gonna be using the maya Mio uh pomegranate honey moisture moisturizing shampoo then i'm gonna be using the talia wajid enhancing herbal uh, co-wash and conditioner i just switched this to, uh, i just switched to this conditioner because i wanted to try something different um i'm trying to get off the myel products i'm not trying to get off of it but like you know i want to switch it up a little bit i'm gonna be using some apple cider vinegar i'm gonna literally just pour some apple cider vinegar into the shampoo bottle it's about finished and then i have another one so i think i'm gonna pour some shampoo i mean yeah pour some of the new shampoo into this bottle and then pour some apple cider vinegar so i can just have a mixture apple cider vinegar is just really good for just cleansing your hair yeah okay guys so i'm back um this is what my hair looks like freshly washed um, so yeah this is what it looks like from the back I'm gonna get rid of this towel. Okay, give me a second. Okay, so the first thing that I do is section off my hair into different sections, like now that my hair is long or whatever, like, you know, like it gets in the way of like the other pieces of sections that I wanna do. So 
I have always made sure that like my middle the, my middle part is super defined just because like I'm not a middle part girl like when my hair is long but like you know if I want to be I could be and then like if I wanted to do any like hairstyles that are even like he's dragging it now I live across the street from a school and school is about to be let out so I'm gonna try to talk as much as I can but like I can't guarantee that there's not gonna be any additional noises in the background I sectioned my hair into two at the top and then I left the back so I left about this much in the back that's pretty much like what I work with um, on a regular so but since I'm doing a style now I don't know what I'm gonna do. So I'm gonna be using the Talia YG Lock It Up. I have like none left, but I guarantee you guys that you don't need that much. Like you should use like that much only because like enough to like be sticky in between your fingers. I'm just gonna take this out cause I wanna moisturize. So I use um, Jojoba oil and I put that all throughout my scalp to start off with. You know, just put it everywhere. There's no method that I use. I just put it, I just make sure to put it on my scalp. Cause I don't necessarily need it on my locks. Number one spot, that's mine. These other rappers on nap time. I got brothers that'll ride when I tell them that it's my fucking. I'm just gonna take some of my hand and go through the front, the sides. And I have 4C here, so for me, my hair can never be too moisturized, personally. Um, like, I don't, my, I've never had greasy hair, except for when my hair was uh, permed, um, is when I experienced, like, greasiness, and even then, like, it could still use moisture, but just in the difference that it's not oil. But with my locks, like, I could put as much oil as I want on my scalp, you know, bring it out to the ends of my locks, and it will be fine. So, I'm gonna just section my hair back into the two parts. Call the Uber for a ride. Call law, got it filled up. I'm getting tonight. She be calling for a ride. Call the Uber for a ride. Call law, got it filled up. I'm getting so I have like a handful of locks on the back. Every time I wash my hair, I'm like, oh my god, my hair is getting so long, like, you know. So I'm gonna be using, again, Talia YG, Lock It Up. I'm gonna be using some clips. This is like an excessive amount of clips. This is just like, what have I accumulated? I think I've only bought like two packs of clips during my whole lock journey. Then I have some rubber bands. I have some black rubber bands and some clear rubber bands. I'm gonna try to use the clear rubber bands first, but normally when I buy clear rubber bands, for some reason, they pop and I don't like it. I don't like that. It's just something, it's just something, just, I don't like, I don't like it. So, these look pretty durable. So we'll use these. But if they start popping, then I'm gonna go to the black rubber bands. I just didn't like the aesthetic that the black rubber bands were giving me because they just felt like, you know, my hair is a ginger. I'm a ginger now. And I just don't like how it looks. So I'm gonna use this little thingy to just part. So like I sectioned off the back part of my hair, but now I just only wanna work with two locks. So I'm gonna just take that and like attach it to one of these real quick. Nothing crazy. You know, just a little, that's it, that's it. So now I'm gonna be working with these two locks in the back. Feel like I should turn to you guys to like show you guys what I'm doing. But at the same time, I don't know what I'm doing. So we're gonna turn. So I'm gonna take like this much, literally this much. And I'm gonna put it on the two locks at the root. Am I showing you guys? 
Okay, I'm gonna do this. Okay, okay, okay. I'm gonna just focus. I'm gonna focus. Okay, so I'm gonna take that at the root. Normally, when I retwist my hair, I comb it out at the bottom. I mean, yeah, at the root. Right? So it's all combed out. Now, I think what I'm gonna do is go like. Go like I'm doing my regular retwist. And then. I don't know. Take this one. These two together. Okay, what I don't like so far is that one lock is longer than the other one. But whatever. We're gonna take that. Alright, soldier, cry on my shoulder. Your girl is paying rent and you worry about And we have a rope twist. No, we don't, cause like what? <laughs> what? Okay. No, that didn't work. Okay. So, wow, you guys are really out here with me doing my trial and error technique. I'm gonna take that out. That hurt, bro. What the hell? What is going on here? Oh we don't have to just leave that for later. <laughs> We're not gonna leave this for later. Okay, there we go. Okay, so. <laughs> What we were doing was doing the rope twist, but I don't really know where it went wrong. So we're gonna try this again. I twisted at the root, so I'm not really sure. And I'm twisting, like I'm twisting as I go. I'm doing that double twisting, where you like double twist. I don't know, like you twist both sides as you go. And I'm twisting. So like what is freaking problem? Okay, this this surprisingly went all the way to the end. Okay, before I tie it, I'm gonna let it go. See. Okay, this is better. Okay. All right, guys. Um, it looks like I have my work set out for me because this unraveled again. Not really sure what I'm doing wrong. So I'm going to try this again, and then I'm gonna show you guys what technique I came up with in the front because I'm in shambles right now. Okay, guys. So I'm back. This was actually really tough. Uh, remember in the beginning I was like why does it keep unraveling I figured out why I'm not gonna lie I had to look at a couple of YouTube videos to just kind of really get my life together but this is how one side looks and I'll show you guys the back yeah I still have some link to it um so I'm happy about that because I thought I wasn't gonna be able to like really go outside with it and like let it stay the only good thing well one thing that I realized is that I definitely don't have to sit under a dryer and like I could just leave it so I'm pretty happy about that I think it looks pretty cute if I don't say so myself I think it looks pretty good um this lock right here I had an uneven amount of locks so I had three locks left 
and I don't know why. So I decided to just combine these three locks together and I twisted them together. It came out okay. Um, one thing that I noticed that people were doing, cause I'm not gonna lie, I really did not do any research before I decided to do the rope twist. I was like, I can do this. Like I, it's twist. How could, how hard could it be? But what I saw people doing was rolling the ends up um i feel like my hair is not long enough for that and it's just gonna look weird so i decided not to do that i just decided to leave it straight and yeah so i did leave some to do on camera with you guys so i'm just gonna get that done i'm gonna just talk about some questions that people have been asking me um off the top of my head like i'm trying to think like people ask me a lot of the same questions so one that i get a lot is how many locks do i have i have 96 locks um i combined a lot of my locks in the beginning because it was just like i felt like it was just too many locks to be completely honest so i have 96 locks um people ask me how i get this hair color i will tell you guys how i get this hair color i think i'm gonna do a video on that um yeah i think i'm just gonna do a video on my hair color because i get a lot of compliments and i appreciate it and um yeah but it's basic stuff but one thing i did learn in the video for doing two strands twist is that you have to do right over left so literally you have to do right over left and then twist as you go so i'm for me it's doing it the way that i don't feel comfortable doing twist and that's how i know that i'm doing it properly okay so i literally just did it wrong so this is exactly an example of how frustrated i've been for the last hour and a half so like when you do it and prop um when you don't do it properly it comes out like this and it's just two locks just chilling by itself I'm gonna do this over i don't know what i did wrong i think it's because i'm talking to you guys because i was in my little groove i'm not gonna lie i was in a little bit of a groove okay i'm mad i really was trying to tell y'all how to do it and i did it wrong as i'm trying to tell y'all how to do it like let's talk about it so i have my two locks here so we're gonna do right over left so right over left right over left and we're gonna twist as we go down literally just wrap it around like maybe four times at the bottom hopefully this comes out good this time so i don't have to do it over and it did so here we go that is our two strand twists another question that you guys asked me hmm. you guys asked me um how i started my locks um i started my locks with comb coils so basically you know you know what a comb coil is like i sent i put a picture so that's how i know y'all really don't be watching my videos but it's okay um i put a picture in my one year lock video um i started off with comb coils and I had my cousin do them for me just so like to make sure that I did like the parting and stuff properly. But yeah, I started off with comb coils. So for everybody that's been watching my permed uh, edges video, like I really love y'all because every time I go in there, I have a new recommendation of what um, edge control I should use. And I really, I haven't finished my edge booster yet, but when I do finish my edge booster, I'm going to sit through and look through i'm gonna look through some of the i'm gonna look through some of the recommendations that i got so that i can like try those and like tell you guys you know like if it's legit um so i'm definitely gonna do that because y'all yeah, be really getting a kick out of my permed um edges video and what else do you guys ask me i've been locked for two years um i started my locks in july of two years ago <laughs> july 26 is my lock anniversary date um of 2019 and i've been locked for two years and july august september october two years and three months my hair is already starting to get dry like i love 4c here 
because I don't have to worry about my hair being wet for too long. Like, the only thing is just that I need to moisturize it, and that's okay. It's okay. I have to moisturize it, I have to take care of it. I may not have like those loose curls, but my hair is strong. I'm not balding and I have edges. So let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. Oh, okay guys, so this is how the rope twist came out looking. I'm really happy about it. I'm excited about how they came out. Like they look, they look really good if I do say so myself. I'm gonna moisturize my scalp by using this Talia Wajid um, African Healing Oil. So this is the bottle. Okay, so this is a bottle, it was $9.99. Let's talk about it, but you know, actually we're not gonna talk about that right now. I bought it and it's been lasting me a while, so I'm happy about that because this is has been like a month's use, like right here. This has been like a month and a half use and my cousin also uses it too so it's not terrible like i can deal um with the 9.99 price point so yeah so i'm gonna just moisturize my scalp with this really quick and then i have to get ready to go to school just make sure we get everywhere i like to like you know go to the ends of my locks just make sure i get some oils on my locks as well um i think i'm gonna go to my go-to style which is like my two little buns my daughter always tells me that i look like mickey mouse but she's a hater oh wait guys you guys i didn't even show you what the bag looks like uh, this is how long i haven't made a video okay let me show you what the bag looks like That's what the back looks like now i'm gonna go into my mickey mouse so my normal hairstyle which is like my everyday hairstyle i don't know i feel like it just suits my face my face is a circle so like i feel like this just works on my face i was really worried that this was not gonna look out like look good so i'm really happy that this came out decent Okay, and then I have my little two tendrils. Not gonna do my edges because, you know, it's wash day to let them breathe. And this is what the back looks like. And that's that on that. Okay guys, so thank you for watching my video. I hope you guys really enjoyed it. I will be having more lock videos to come because I'm gonna show you guys what this looks like when I take it out. Probably gonna do a get ready with me with that. Maybe do my makeup or something. My face is like not where it needs to be right now. So I'm gonna probably leave, leave this in for, since it looks cute, probably leave this in for like about at least a week. And then, um, yeah, I'm gonna have some more lock videos for you guys. I'm definitely gonna try more hairstyles now that my hair is getting longer. I'll do like an updated retwist video. You know going to depth with like the products that i'm using i want to try some new products out too so maybe i'll bring you guys along with that experience but thank you guys for watching don't forget to like comment and subscribe thank you guys for getting me to a thousand subscribers keep watching my videos definitely support my photography um you don't have to but i would appreciate it if you just you know took a little look sees um give me some tips some feedback anything i'm trying to get better like i said picking it up off the floor so yeah um thank you guys for watching and i'll see you guys in the next video bye